For many of us, mowing the lawn is a chore. But Herman Lindsay takes nothing for granted. For him, this is an expression of freedom. The 40-year-old spent three years on death row after being convicted of murder, a ruling later overturned by the Supreme Court. The evidence against him was circumstantial at best, but by then, the damage had already been done. Death row was actually a, a turning point for me also because I was very, very depressed and went through some mental issues because the same system that was supposed to do us justice was the same people that put me there. Since the mid-70s, Florida has executed 77 people and currently there are more than 400 inmates on death row. And while the rate of executions across the U.S. is falling, here it could be about to start rising. The average death row inmate waits around 15 years between sentencing and execution, and the Timely Justice Act aims to speed that process up considerably. The law supporters say the arguments are clear. Justice is swift, the victims' families are satisfied, and the taxpayer saves money. But critics say there's just one big problem. Florida has put more innocent men on death row than any other state. For civil rights campaigners like Howard Simons, the new law raises the possibility that an innocent life will be taken. We have the most broken system of any state in the United States that engages in executions. No state has uh, had to release more people from death row because of evidence that was hidden, mistakes that was made. For every four prisoners sent to death row in Florida, one is found not guilty. But despite those chilling figures, execution still receives wide support. Why should we have to pay all this money for someone to stay alive who does the things that would, you know, demand a death, a death penalty? To put the person, to incarcerate him and to pay year after year, it's not fair probably to him or to the taxpayers. For Herman Lindsay and his family, the last few years have been tough. But despite the hardships, he's continuing to fight for those awaiting execution, a fight that may have got a lot harder. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Pompano Beach, Florida.